Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on another video. If you're new here, my name is Stephanie and I'm a wife and mom of three. My family lives in the state of Florida and we're currently working on paying off all of our credit card debt. Uh, we currently owe about $52,000. We started at $77,000 in November of 2022. So if you enjoy monthly budgets, paycheck budgets, weekly check-ins, debt updates, uh, tracker coloring and grocery hauls and you're not already subscribed to my channel please go ahead and hit that subscribe button I'd love to have you join my YouTube family today we're going to do my paycheck budget for the first week of May um, this is going to be a very spendy paycheck budget with me because for the first time in Brian's three or four years of working at his current job he got a bonus so um, this was based on the store's performance. So I'm not sure if we'll ever get another one. I'm not sure why we got one this time, but I am not complaining, okay? Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and get into it. The first week of May covers May 2nd to the 8th for us. Um, again, if you're new, my husband gets paid weekly. He is an assistant manager in a retail setting and I get paid bi-weekly. So he's going to have a magic month this month, and he also has this bonus, so he'll be bringing in more income than he normally does, um, but usually his checks are about $1,300, which is what I budgeted. And for his bonus, it was $3,432.29. We're not expecting any other income, so for the week, that's going to give us a total of $4,732.29. So, since um, Brian did get this bonus, we are doing some savings, also some debt payoff, and also um, some spending, just... <laughs> doing something to the homestead, adding something to the homestead that we um, have been wanting to do. We do live on two acres in central Florida. So this is, um, we do have a homestead. We have um, animals and a garden. We're working on being self-sufficient. So when you guys see what we're spending, like don't, don't at me. <laughs> Okay, because we are doing some good things. We are. Okay, so let's just go through it. So um, as far as bills go this week, Brian's cell phone is going to have to come out for $108. Carter's tuition is going to come out for $435. This should be the last payment for the school year. We don't pay in June or July. And then starting in August, it'll be about half this amount. So that's great. He's going into VPK, so it's going to reduce our school costs for him. Um, Brian's life insurance is going to come out for $35.93. And our next gen is going to come out for $20. We're going to pay Synchrony $70. And we are going to pay off our Baptist hospital bill. So if you've been here for any amount of time, you know that we have a $50 payment plan for a medical bill from our son being um, in the hospital for a procedure. So we currently owe 705 on that. And then I took him to the doctor recently and he, um, we had to pay a copay. They only charged me $25, but I knew we were going to have to pay an extra 15 here or there. And when I went in today to, to pay the bill, it said that we owed $720. So $705 plus the $15 is $720. So we are paying off this hospital bill um, with some of the bonus money. So this will be $50 that will roll into our snowball for Home Depot. But this is the second debt we have paid off this year. So I'm very excited to say that we no longer owe this $50 bill. Uh, we're also going to pay $360 to Home Depot. The minimum payment for Home Depot is $51. And then when I looked at the promotions we had on our card by May 15th, we have to pay $308 and some change. So I'm paying an additional 309 
so that we can get rid of the small amount we have um, on that promotion that will expire in the middle of the month so we don't accrue that interest like we did last month if you saw my debt update then you know what I'm talking about so if once we pay this that will just leave like the little bit of normal interest for like the really small purchases we were making. And then um, we have a promotion that is set to expire in like 2025. I think March of 2025 because the purchase was so large. Um, we got 12 months financing or something like that, special financing. So um, we plan on paying off this Home Depot card by the end of the year though. So after this $360 payment, we should owe under $2,000. So our goal now that we're paying off Baptist is to pay off Home Depot by the end of the year. Um, and then we also have um, Brian's medical bills from him being in the hospital in February. So far, I don't think we're going to get any more. We've just gotten four and they total up to four forty nine oh three. dollars So we're going to pay those off completely. Um, so we... Can be done with them and I think that is it for the bill portion so let's add this up real quick 108 20 435 35 93 720 360 70 and 449 03 is $2,197.96. Subtract that from our income of $47.32.29, and that leaves $2,534.33. Okay. So for our variable expenses for the week we are going to plan for 250 for groceries um homestead okay so this is a big one i changed our pet category to homestead that's what it's called now so for homestead we're doing 825 dollars and that is because we got some piggies oh my god yes <laughs> so we have three pigs um, Shirley, Everdeen, and Mr. Joe. Um, so we had to purchase the pigs and then we had to buy supplies to create an enclosure for them, buy pig food. So, um, we've already done all of that. I'm, I put a little more money in the homestead category for the week, just in case we need something else, but you guys will see what we actually spent. Um, I mean, it is about $700 already. So it's close to 825, but um, I put a little more just in case we need something else. But who knows? You know, really, who knows? Let me put you a picture. Here's a picture of the piggies. Um, we got one black one that's a female and then two spotted ones. Uh, one boy and one girl. So they are still very skittish. They don't want to come to us. If we go near the pen, they run into the woods like the area that they're in um we put a picture of like their enclosure so you guys can see it's trees it's um like little ferns grasses um low cut grass area it's really nice so they enjoy the area i think it is nice size for three piggies of course we will um use these pigs for um breeding pig meat to eat so these pigs won't be slaughtered but the babies that they make will be so that's the goal with you know all the the creatures we have here so whatever creatures are here currently will be the mamas and daddies and the babies are the ones that will be you know food for uh, a couple of other homesteading videos i watched calls it uh freezer camp they're gonna go to freezer camp so $825 on piggies and pig pen supplies. Uh, for kids this week, we're going to do 25. I want to sign my boys up for um, like a pool party they're having at our local YMCA for like the end of the school year. There's going to be like pizza 
games. They'll be able to swim. It's like $5 per kid. Only the big kids can go. So I'm going to sign Caleb and Bryson up for that. And then their allowance for the week. Medical do 136. Caleb has a dentist appointment and I have a doctor's appointment. And then clothes, I did already buy Caleb some new shorts and a pair of swim trunks because his clothes were super small. I think he had like a size 16 kids and he needs a, like a men's medium. That's why I bought him a men's medium. He's nine. He'll be 10 in June. He's like 150 pounds. He's my height. He's like 5'5", five, five, 140 pounds, like just a solid big kid. So I had to get him some more clothes. We're not going to do anything for um, Blow Money this week. And then for a household, we're going to do 700 Again, very large amount for household. We, did, um, we have been trying to get our pool set up since last month. So last month, we took the cover out of the pool because it wasn't on the pool. It was in the pool. Took the cover out. Um... And started running the pump and trying to get the water clear or whatever. We bought hundreds of dollars worth of chemicals. We bought a new pool vacuum. Um, the pool just wasn't clearing. Like it wasn't green anymore, but it was just really cloudy and aquamarine, I would say. Like a, a blue-green color. And I kept taking it to, taking the water sample to our pool place. And they were like, well, your levels are good. You know, everything's good. We don't know why it's not... Um, clearing up so we changed the sand in the sand filter got new sand um and then it still wouldn't clear so needless to say we spent um like three three fifty on pool chemicals a pool vacuum a new sand for the sand filter and this week we've been draining and cleaning the pool so we know the reason now why it wouldn't clear is because there was so much um algae in the bottom of the pool that was like stuck to it like we couldn't see because the water was so cloudy we couldn't see where the the nastiness was you know what i'm saying like if we could see that there was a spot that needed to be brushed or whatever then we could have brushed it but nobody wanted to get in the pool because it was gross looking and nobody wanted to get in the pool and risk you know getting um a skin burn because the ph was too high or like like we were burning that pool trying to get it um to clear up so all that to say we spent hundreds of dollars on the pool which came out of the household category i put all of those expenses on our credit card so we have to pay them off this month and that is what some of the 700 dollars is going towards but we are also um getting ready to put a bigger back door i would say porch just like a little porch um at our back door it's gonna be maybe eight by eight compared to what we have now which is probably like four by four so double the size but still not huge and it's going to have a roof on it to um help us get in the door without getting rained on when it's raining give us a place to put a deck box so we can put our muck boots outside instead of bringing them inside um so brian's going to get some osb boards from someone he contacted on facebook he's also going to get some shingles um because we have a shingle roof on our mobile home and i told him i wanted it to match so he's going to get some shingles from a guy that he found on Facebook. So the shingles, the OSB boards, and um, the pool supplies. Plus I put a little like $50 more just in case um, for something else that might come up. So that gives us $700 for the week. And then eating out. We did eat out already. Our goal this month was to not eat out just like last month. But the day that we went and got the pigs, we ate out. And it was $48.96. Um, that's all the eating out we should be doing. And then for cars, gas has gone up. I know you guys know gas has gone up. So I'm putting $200 because um, I already got gas. Today is Thursday that I'm filming this. I got gas this morning and it was $85. And I normally budget $80 for me. So if I went over for gas, Brian's going to go over for gas. So I bumped it up. Um, from the 180 we were planning to like 200 for the both of us. And then nothing for unbudgeted. 250 plus 825 plus 25 plus 
and 200 is 223808. Subtract that from 25, 34, 33, and that leaves 296.25. So that 296.25, we're just going to roll over to week two. Give us a little bit of a buffer in our account just in case we overspend or it will go towards next week. And that is that. So I hope you guys enjoyed the budget with me. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video and watching it. I'm excited about our debt payoff and our new piggies. If you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.